Hey guys, Austin, and welcome to another episode of Project Neo here on the SMP World. Um, today I am by myself, but I wanted to do a episode where we fight, not fight, when I say fight, where we uh, tend to my village, because if you guys didn't know, I have a self-sustaining village. I kind of showed the sneak peek of that last episode, but I never really got to show you guys most of it. There is a rat in this pen, I'm just going to leave him in there. Um, I never got to show you guys really all the villagers and what their trades were and stuff. I kind of just ran through it really quickly because we were off on an adventure. But, um, yeah, and also if you guys missed yesterday's episode, there wasn't one. I was doing Fortnite content all day. So if anyone was wondering why I wasn't, why I didn't post any Minecraft yesterday, it's because of that. And if anyone's wondering today why I'm not doing a Lucky Block Survival episode, well, because it didn't really hit the like goal. And I didn't really feel like doing one today. And since you guys didn't seem to care too much about it, that cat literally almost died there. Um, I didn't post it. So remember guys, if you ever want a series to continue, remember to hit the like goal. Now this series in particular does not have a like goal, but I am going to be switching it probably to every other day instead of every day. Because it hasn't, um, it has been peaking recently. So again, if you guys want this series to continue, be daily. Make sure you hit that like button so you show me that you do want that. But right now, in terms of progress, the Fortnite videos are doing the better. So... You guys, you guys gotta, you gotta, those who just want to see Minecraft, you gotta, you gotta step up your game. Share this video with your friends if you think any of them be interested in it. But, uh, anyway, let's head over there. So today, like I said, we're just gonna be doing village stuff. I'm just gonna look, do trades, etc. Go from there. Off camera, I had to murder a ton of pipers. Uh, that spawned because I messed up the config file and only they were spawning, but I changed, I fixed that now, hopefully. But yeah, my armor got shredded, so now I'm wearing hand-me-down stuff. Uh, but yeah, so if we come down here, this is my village protected by iron golems So quickly to explain how this all started this village in particular As you know, I spent time building this off camera and all I did was I went over here and I, st I planted one villager seed which is from the animal crops mod if you guys want to see that it's the animal it's the animal uh, crops seeds mod as you can see it has seeds from most vanilla creatures um including a villager. So I just started that and put all the machines down like they work now and it just started. Um, I did put one iron golem down here, which is this obsidian iron golem right here that's a little bit injured. But every other golem down here has spawned naturally two iron golems, one crafting table golem, which yes, actually you can craft with, and one quartz golem. We did have a third iron golem, but he did um, attack me, so I had to put him out of his misery. But yeah, so this is the village. It kind of reminds you of the pillaging, I'm sure. But essentially, this is my off-camera grind work these days. I just have been trading with all the villagers. They've got amazing trades. Let's start looking at them. So this guy is a mason. As you can see, clay for emeralds is pretty amazing. Wait a minute. Didn't we already have a mason? Yeah, we have two masons. Why do we have two masons? You're not needed here. I'd kill you, but the iron golems would get angry. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. We're not supposed to have two masons. I I guess that's a thing. And we have two weaponsmiths. What happened? I guess something messed up. I have no idea. Uh, but people changed professions, apparently. Uh, we got a, a butcher trader. Again, the only way to make them so they can't change professions is to do trades with them. Like this guy, uh, Derriere, which is actually was named on a throwback from the pillaging because we had this villager there, too. Um, if you upgrade their trades, they can no longer, um, change, change their positions. Like this dude right here, Andre. Uh, I named a few of them, but most of them do not have names. If you guys can think of any names to name them, please let me know. Especially the farmer. This guy needs to have a name because he's been doing the most for the village. Because if you guys don't know, how the villagers essentially breed these days is not only are doors and beds required, you need, um, machines so they get professions, and you need a farm... So a villager or yourself can feed them. So like if I wanted to feed this villagers over here, this piece of wheat and three seeds, if I throw it on the ground, you'll watch, they will run over to it and actually grab it. Like one of them just picked it up. So that's basically how a self-sustaining village works. They do like spamming the doors though. That is the thing. Um, we have our librarian novice here, which I actually have a sugarcane farm outside growing. Um, we have a cow farm in here and a chicken farm, which they are... Ready? That's kind of how the ammo crops mod works. They just kind of produce. They just right click them like that. Um, we have a ton of eggs, which I guess I'll go around and harvest now since uh, I mean, might as well. 
But yeah, while I'm doing this, I want to say again, if you guys have been enjoying the series on the channel, remember to smash that like button, share your support. Um, just know, keep in mind that if ever a series starts to dip down in likes slash views, although I will still continue it, it just won't be as uh, constant. And although this series is still receiving a ton of support, it's slightly died down, so I'm not going to do daily anymore just because I can I can have room to uh, space out the videos and hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy that a little bit more rather than get bored seeing it daily. Again, if you guys would like it to continue to be daily, just you know what to do. You guys know what you gotta do. Um, but aside from all that, I wanted to cook all these eggs. And then, because they make, uh, you basically just get fried eggs. Uh, I wanted to get sugar cane, which I had growing over here. I need paper. And yeah, we don't have exactly like a perfected sugar cane farm, but this will do. And yeah, I could have vein mined it, but I didn't want to break the source one. And is squid done? Yeah, squid's done. Hey, what's up, man? Give me your, give me your ink sacs. I need that. For my research... But yeah, to be honest, I haven't really played on the server in like a few days just because one Fortnite's been a thing, two, uh, I pre-recorded all my stuff. So I haven't had to jump on to record an episode, and of course I skipped out yesterday. It is becoming nighttime. I don't want to cause too much of an issue with things, so I'm going to sleep. And I need to see if you can make paper in other ways, because this, although it works, I don't really have an efficient, an efficient way of doing it yet. My dogs are still up here. I'll eventually get into the doggy talents mod, which is, uh, at dog, oops, doggy. Oh, toggy, doggy. There we go. Yeah. So I do have like beds and stuff I can make for the dogs, but, uh, I haven't gotten around to it. Eventually it'll happen. That's the plan. Like I said, guys, I want this series to last for a while. Um, but I'm not entirely sure where it's going to go. Um, if at any point in time I decide to stop the series, I will probably still post, like, one-offs. Because, uh, this, this series I want to, like I said, last for a while. Okay, well, how can I make paper? Sawdust. Which is using, a uh, sawmill to get, okay. There's no other way. Cool. Alright, villagers, uh, did you, I do know the one likes carrots. That's the whole other thing I was doing. I have to make, like, a, a, a list of things. But here, paper, where, where's my man? Are you my man? No, you're the guy with the sticks and string and flint trade. I have to go and get that for him. Um, oh, he can't even hold this. I don't have enough paper to give him. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. I need to put a chest down here that's like that. But yeah, let's continue on and see. I need um, sticks, which I can probably grab. Oh my gosh, I accidentally favorited something again. Get away. I want sticks. Which we don't actually have a lot of, so I'm not going to take them. Flint, we have a little bit of. Um, and what else did he want? String. Right, right, right. String. So, of course, string being a major thing for us, I probably shouldn't waste all of it. But if we have a ton of stacks, I might as well. Because this is for emeralds, and we can just buy the stuff back. Worst case scenario. Yeah, we do have a ton of string. So, I'm going to put a stack back, and the rest I'm going to trade. And like I said, this is what I was doing off camera for like, I kid you not, like three hours. I was just getting the village ready and doing these trades. Now, where are you, my boy? No, that's Andre. He's the wool guy. Uh, I do want to kill this blacksmith because he should not be here right now. If he's here, it basically is one less job. Um, the iron golems will want to kill me, though. Like, the main ones. The, the, uh, the boys that are like the, um, novice woolsmith. The, the guys that are like the custom iron golems do not attack if you attack the villagers, but if I attack, if I attack um, them, they'll still fight back, but other than that, they don't really try. Alright, so there we go with that, and then string, and then that should upgrade him. Do it. Yes, nice, and he's got a power one bow, interesting, and he's a feather boy now. Alright, and he's at expert level, so he no longer needs to be upgraded, but I can just take his emeralds essentially <laughs> um yeah you're at master level essentially my goal is just to have a master level of each one but i don't want i don't want multiple of the same types like i have two masons which i don't need 
But if I if I attack them, the only thing that sucks is it'll cause a uh, a um what you call it to happen. Okay, yeah. So he's wheat, pumpkins, and melons. Wheat, pumpkins, and melons. Did the cat leave? Okay. So I'm gonna go and grab those. Move a golem. Ugh. And I think uh, Piero has a melon. Not melon. He has a pumpkin patch behind his house. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to check out other perspectives on the series, uh, definitely check out Piero Neon Slice on YouTube. Um, he's also linked in the description if you guys want to check out his channel. He's been grinding out a ton of Fortnite recently, so if you guys like Fortnite and don't like my Fortnite, uh, maybe you want to watch his Fortnite stuff. He also does um, Call of Duty content as well. And he's been doing really well on YouTube recently, so I recommend checking him out. Uh, he's awesome. But... Let me see what's back here. I need your melons. These are kind of melons, right? Pumpkins are considered melons still, right? Anyway. Uh, oh, so these XP bushes are overpowered. I just gained back everything with them. All right. Oh, yeah, white wool is a thing that we need here. White and black wool, but I don't have a black sheep yet, and I don't want to use my dye for that. Uh, there's some wool there. We have seven white wool. Is that it? We actually only have seven? Wow. Okay, time to shear some. I guess this is why you do need all these vanilla farms. Like, I never really thought of... Oh, I didn't mean to do the green one. Or the lime one, I guess. I never really thought of it like this. Like, you just... Uh, also, did it... Oh, we got our thing tr Oh, because the rat was in here. That's right. I need another animal essence then. Dang it. Sorry, sheep. All right. Move it, guys. I need to plant your sheep friend back. Yeah, the rats eat crops, which sucks, but it's okay. Um, What was it? Wool, pumpkins, and melons. But I don't have that many melons. All right. Uh, not butcher. Uh, farmer. I need farmer. Farmer? You're in here, farmer. All right, here. Take that, please. Thank you. And I need the wool guy. I think that's Andre. I don't know which... Is this his? No, that's that's him. Um, are you? No, you're Toolsmith. Uh, I need that guy dead. I need to have, like, a lava thing I can just push them into so I don't actually get in trouble for attacking them. Who am I looking for? Is it on this side? Oh my gosh, I think it is. This is the right Andre, right? Yeah, but I don't have enough wool. Dang it. Okay, uh, yeah, I want to... I need to kill two of these people, so I actually do want to make, like, a... I could put it in the... this room, not this room. Where's the, the room where the babies are? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put, like, a... Oh, but how would I how would I get that to work? I'd have to push them all the way over here and then kill them. Yeah, that'd be really hard to do. I'm best off just killing them, letting the iron golems get angry, and then leaving. Also, these chickens produce way too many eggs. Do you see this? Um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a... If I pick one up, this is a chicken nest. Uh, it is crafted like so. You just need planks and a hay bale. And it will auto-pick up four eggs. I know four isn't a lot, but I think you could also hook it up to, like, hoppers and stuff. I just haven't done that. Um, you'd think three chickens wouldn't leave enough eggs, but apparently they do. All right, so what's what should I go out and get? I need... Okay, flint seems to be the thing. Let me go and mine a ton of uh, gravel and grab some flint from it. I think we have gravel in our chest still that I can just place and endlessly mine. So we'll see. Also, emerald collection is on point. Let me craft some more of them into blocks. Um, we're probably going to need emeralds in the future, so it's good that we're gathering so many. Um, at the very least, you can make emerald armor, which I think is more enchantable than diamond. And the difference between emerald and these bushes is there is no emerald bush. If I do, like, at metal bushes mod, as you can see, we do not have an uh, emerald bush. Which is crazy, but I need gravel. So, oops. Gravel. Uh, gravel, gravel. Okay, that'll do. 
Okay, I'm just gonna put this down and then mine it, so... Do this the longest way possible. Again, like I said, guys, I apologize for this being, like, a tedious episode. But I said I just wanted to do a village episode because I didn't get the chance to. And I'm very proud of my village, so I hope you guys can understand my, uh... My feelings towards this episode. Alright, and this has Fortune 1, so it hopefully should do better. Okay, it gave me 18. Excellent. And again, there's so many villagers that yield, uh this particular trade at least two which is many if you didn't know uh i also struck gold with a lot of them they seem to have a lot of uh a lot of the trades that you deem overpowered like the clay one like 18 what is it like 18 clay for stuff that's ridiculous and the best part is it we have in a way an unlimited supply of them you could argue because Although we only have, like, however many in the, um, in the thing, uh, if one dies or gets eaten or something happens to it, it doesn't matter because we can just grow another one, you know? It, it's not like in the pillaging where, if you guys remember that series, first off, shouts to you for being an OG, uh, if not, definitely go check it out. There should be a playlist for it on my channel. It was a vanilla 1.14 series. Essentially, 1.14 first came out. Um, seems like forever ago at this point. But that series was good because it had the village, the whole village aspect, like what I have going right here. But the problem with it was is you couldn't let a villager die. If basically you lost a villager, you lost like the best trader ever because we we groomed them to have the best trades. But with with this, if one dies, you just get another one. It's not like we have to... You, we had to convert zombies into villagers at that point, essentially. But now it doesn't really matter much. Alright, 658 is good. It seems like I'm running low, but I still have like a stack of gravel. Oh, I gotta watch it doesn't actually fly into the hoppers. That would be awkward. But yeah, like I said, guys, this series isn't going anywhere, but at the same time, I am going to slightly reduce it right now. If you guys prove that you still want the series to go on, obviously, you know what you got to do. Just show your support by watching, clicking the like button, commenting things you would like to see more of. That way, we at least cover things that the people are watching want me to do. Um, you guys know. So, just go from there. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll continue going. Is there, like, a... Oh, it's nighttime. I thought there was, like, a storm or something. I'm letting it go into nighttime because I'm testing something really quickly. Because I just changed the config file for the Pipers again. And I just want to see if they are going to spawn like ridiculously. They shouldn't. But... Alright, I'll do one more block's worth of flint and then do it. There should be, like, a way of compressing... No, gravel. Not compressing it, but, like... I don't know, like, putting into some machine where you don't have to do this. Because this is, like, the oldest trick in the book for Minecraft, is just placing gravel and breaking it. There needs to be a, a more systematic way of doing this, I feel. Alright, but let's head down there. They are going to be asleep, the villagers, so I do have to sleep. I don't see... Okay, I see a skeleton. Okay. See, I accidentally turned the, the coding of the thing. So, the Pipers had, like, a 1% chance of spawning. I accidentally made them 300% chance... And they were everywhere, as you can imagine. I changed that now, but that was accidental. All right, uh, dairy, a lot of coal as well. Um, where's my other boy that takes flint? Um, where I forgot. You know what's funny? They all sleep in different buildings, and then run. Oh, are we about to get a kid? Wait, wait. I think we're about to get a child. The iron golem's messing it up, or obsidian golem, I guess. They got hearts. And heartbreak. Okay, never mind. Whatever. I didn't care anyway. Alright, uh, you, not Andre, Derriere. Not uh, you, not you, not you. Who else had the flint trade? Oh, was you, Weaponsmith. So wait, 24 for an emerald, and then what's 25 for an emerald? 
All right, Mr. 24 for an emerald, you're up. All right, that's three emeralds. And he's now, oh, he actually holds the sword. That's pretty cool. They both are just holding the same Bane of Arthropods 2 sword. Um, oh yeah, this one's overpowered too. Just simple stone. Which, I think I was smelting a ton of that. I should probably smelt some more stone, because that's just overpowered. The only problem with having a villager farm, though, is one, you get obsessed with doing the trades. Two, you run out of the resources very fast. And these are like everyday resources, so it's really not healthy just getting rid of them like this. But, uh... No, if I just type stone, it should all come up. Um, I'm just going to see if we have a ton of stone. Other than that regular cobblestone I'll grab. Unfortunately, you can't do modded stone. Like, you can't give them modded stone. They don't like that. It's kind of sad. Also, I need to turn that back into a stone block, which I think it'll let me in the uh, thingy. Cobblestone. Yeah, I forgot I could just do this. There we go. I learned that you could do that. How much do we have? Quite a bit. That should be fine. Yeah, just smelt all of that, please. Thank you. <laughs> I know that's a lot, but it should be fine. Uh, and then can I? Really? I can't? Okay, well, that sucks. Yeah, this this farm this farmer should automatically be harvesting it and stuff. I shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Um, is there anything else I can get for these guys while I'm here? A diamond for emerald. Now that is personally a bad decision. I would not do that. Uh, that is a bad investment, sir. Uh, andesite, andesite. Ooh, let's see if we have andesite upstairs. And decide. That's a stack right there. Um, I don't think that worked. It was inside blocks. Actually, maybe it did work, and that's all we have. <laughs> I need to go on just a mining thing soon. I need to mine. Maybe next episode, if I feel like it, I'll just mine. Um, or I'll do that off camera. I don't know. It depends. Uh, take this and this. Thank you. Can I, like, cut this? Oh, wow, I can. That's a lot of things. Okay. What's this one do? Oh, this is the repair slash disenchanter. So if you wanted to take enchants off of stuff, you could. Right. So if I just do this, it would, yeah, it would de-enchant it. Okay, interesting. I guess that's good if you have Curse of Binding or Curse of Vanishing on something. And you don't want it. Um... Oh, that was the... I was like, what was that? It was just the chickens laying more eggs. Look at all these eggs. It's so ridiculous. Like, what am I supposed to do with all this? I can't eat that many even. I can't even feed it to the villagers. I don't think they'll eat egg. Will they? Here, wait a minute. Can I, like, feed raw egg to you guys? Because... Or not raw egg, but cooked egg? Because I'd be down to. Oh, these are all done. Let me get all you as well. Okay, uh... I'm gonna take raw egg down there and see if they want it. Also, I think I threw the wool away, but I might have enough to get more now. So we have a ton more right here. Uh, wool. Yeah, there we go. That should be enough to do at least one trade. I wanted to do... I wanted to just do that trade so I could try to upgrade him. We did get one villager upgraded, though, so I guess that's good. Alrighty. Um, wait, he's over here, I think. Yeah, Andre is the wool guy. There you go. Also, I should probably buy his carpet so it just will upgrade him. But, oh, that's what I wanted to do. If I throw an egg on the ground, will you eat it? That didn't seem promising. Here, wait a minute. Guys, guys, guys. Will you eat these if I eat, throw them on the ground? They only eat vanilla food. That sucks. All right, what can I turn fried eggs into? I could make a breakfast sandwich if I get cheese and bacon and cookie dough. Or cooked dough, not cookie dough. 
Okay. Well, I can't do that now, but... I need to do a cooking episode where I just make food. Like, all the random foods that we have. Because we have, like, one or two food mods installed. So, yeah, that definitely needs to be a thing. Um... I do kind of want to go on a spending spree with these emerald blocks. I did get most of them through to the trades. I might as well. Uh, I want to see what I can buy down here to try to unlock more trades. It sucks that I have to do this, but I think it'll work. Alright. Who's, like, about to max out? You? No, you are maxed out. I, for I need to remember. Diamond means maxed out. If I see anyone else that isn't. Like, I could buy his rabbit stew. I can't believe I just did that. Okay. Go and please tell me I can work with this. Another coal one? Okay, fine. Um, what about you? Bookshelves. Oh, I can't even afford that to max out. I need to, though. Alright, I'll get more emeralds just because bookshelves are okay to get. Um, the rabbit stew, though, really is going to be a problem. Um... I can't do anything with it. It is good, but... Uh, here, just go in there. I need I need some more emeralds. I know I'm wasting a lot of the emeralds right now, guys, but trust me, it's probably for the best if I can manage to get a good enchantment book on this villager. Uh, it will help us out a lot, and I can gather up all the emeralds again via trades. Alright, where is he? You should be right here. Uh, take my small loan of a million dollars. Okay. He should upgrade now? Yep. What did he get? Knock back to. Fine. Alright, he's upgraded. Uh, the food is all ready to be harvested. I don't know why my man's not doing his job. Let me just grab all of it then. Also, I don't just control what he plants. I tried to, but it didn't work out. Alright. Uh... Since you guys seem to be in the mood for food, uh, here, eat, eat, everyone it's feeding time, here if you guys want wheat too, I know you're kind of weirdos when it comes to this, I'll just give them all the food, it's fine. Alright now, after they've eaten and are happy, they should do, they should, um, want to create more children, unless we've maxed out, if we've maxed out then I'm gonna have to make the... The choice of killing them. Where is the one I want killed? It's this one, right? Yeah. All right. If I miss, this is gonna be a problem. Do they not care? Okay, I think I did it. That's one down. Uh, are you the no? Your master. You weaponsmith. I need you dead. Oh, they're right there though. I think I got away with it just because. I only need to hit them once with this bow, because look at these enchants. It's enough to kill them in one shot, but I need to watch when I'm doing it. Here, is this... Which one's him? Is this him right here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Andre, move. I don't want to hurt you. Okay, that one got angry. Okay, that's fine, though. He can't get me while I'm in here. I just wanted to do that. So now, if we do get any more villagers... They will go to the other machines. Must look. I actually got a villager head. Iron golem. I don't want to have to kill you. But we do need better iron golem. So I'm going through with it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do, man. I've got way stronger of a weapon. And the other one doesn't care. Sorry, dude. This is it. Shatter, be destroyed. All right. I actually got a weaponsmith head from a villager. How do I look with that? I look ridiculous. Alright. Um, here, to honor his death, Poppy. Keeping the iron, though. Alright. Well, guys, I think that was a successful episode. Although we murdered two villagers and a golem at the end there. Trust me, we'll get... The golem isn't really necessary. We have way too many that, that down there to worry about that. Um... Uh, do, 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 I think that, again, if you guys want me to do a villager episode, think of it as like a fishing episode. I would be down to a fishing only episode next time. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but you guys can let me know in the comment section. Again, remember for the series to continue, all you guys got to do is just watch it. 
hit that like button and leave comments suggesting what you'd like to see next. And that is going to do for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.